This is code.org. This is their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 2, which is Web Development, and I am on Lesson 10, which is Styling Text with CSS, Part 5, Styling Text. Let's see. Making a new CSS rule set. Hmm, a rule set? What's that? The block of code that gives rules for a particular tag is called a rule set. Oh, I guess they answered that. So it's a block of code that gives rules. Oh, I bet they mean this. So that must be the block, right? In between the brackets, that's the block of code. Okay. You can make a new rule set by copying the pattern you see in the rule set for the H1 tag. Hey, <laughs> we're already ahead of them. All right. Find the CSS rule set in the style sheet that determines the style for the H1 tag. Score. We already did that. So I clicked over here and yep. Find the CS. Yep. Using the same pattern, write a new CSS rule set that will demonstrate that will determine the style for the H3 tag. Add code to a set to set a different color for the H3 tag. Okay, I'm going to just kind of... Oh, and if you... These are always helpful if you want a bit more information on some of this, but I think we got it covered. So we want to mess with the H3 tag. First, I want to know what has an H3 tag. Oh, that's actually H3. Anything else? Mm, oh, and... Oh, wow, largest bubble. Okay, so there's a lot of H3 that should be changed by this. Okay, so I'm going to just hit enter a few times here, and I'm going to try to do what they did, which I think they just typed H3 like it would be, and then enter. I'm going to go ahead so I don't forget. I'm going to put the opening bracket and the closing bracket. That bracket thing, it's shift and the square bracket. So to open it, it's shift, and it's the key next to the letter P, Oh, there goes the bell. Um, and then the closing bracket is right next to it. So let's see. We are going to do color mm, blue. Sure. Oh, yeah. And it should turn blue. Yep. Remember how I said there was more than one H3 tag? Everything that's H3. Why don't we be real fancy, though, and do text hyphen decoration? Oh, and it came up. So I'm just going to use theirs. And ooh. I was going to do underline, but look, it tells us some stuff. Let's do line through and close it with a semicolon. Oh, look, it crosses it all out. Huh. That's kind of neat. And it does it to every H3 tag. Anything with an H3 tag is impacted by that. Neat. So it just asks us to change the color, so I'm going to get rid of that code. But cool. That's how you're going to be establishing this rules. So let's go ahead and keep going.